The best way to heat or cool your electric vehicle is to precondition it while it's plugged into a charging source. By using energy from your charging source, you'll use less energy from the battery to heat your vehicle at the start of your drive. And this will help maximize your driving range. And you can even schedule departure times and comfort settings so your vehicle is already heated or cooled when it's time for you to depart. To do so, touch the button on the upper left corner of your sync screen. Then press Charging, then here to edit departure and comfort. Now you can set times, days of the week, and your preferred comfort settings. Max Defrost sets the heat and fan speed on their maximum settings and turns the rear window defrost on. Press this button on the touchscreen to turn on Max Defrost. It can also be turned on by pressing this button to the left of your lighting control knob. Regular defrost uses temperature and fan speed settings that you select. To turn on the regular defrost, access the climate controls, press the windshield icon, and turn off the panel and floor vents. You may still need to scrape your windows to clear the ice and snow before driving in cold weather. To heat and cool your vehicle, using auto mode is the recommended method for optimal cabin comfort and visibility in all temperatures. Auto mode uses input from sensors inside and outside the vehicle to achieve your temperature setting. In cold weather, warm air is directed mostly to the floor vents, with some airflow directed to the windshield defroster and side window demister vents. In warm weather, cold air is blown through the panel vents. Press the auto button. Use 72 degrees Fahrenheit as a starting point, then use the dial to adjust the temperature as desired. Pressing the auto button repeatedly will toggle the fan intensity through high, medium, and low. Auto mode will reduce the fan speed as the cabin temperature reaches the appropriate level. Using auto mode will also set the proper cabin air recirculation mode. It will determine whether to use the air inside the cabin, outside air, or a mixture of both to warm the cabin. If the windshield starts to frost or fog while using auto mode, turn on the defrost and floor vent to direct air to the floor and windshield vents and adjust the fan speed as needed. Now let's go over the manual climate settings. Press this button on the touch screen, then the power button. This button turns on the max air conditioning. Pressing this button recirculates the air in the cabin. Using the heat button warms the cabin with an electrical heater. Disabling this feature saves battery power and extends your driving range, but may affect comfort. You can turn on the defrost by pushing here. Pressing here will direct airflow through the panel vents, while pressing here directs air through the floor vents. If frost or fog occurs while driving, press the defrost button and the floor vent button and adjust the fan speed accordingly. When the dual button is turned on, the driver and passenger can have different settings. This button controls the available heated driver's seat. Press here to turn on the available automatic heated seating. Doing so will automatically heat the seat to match the cabin temperature settings. Use the dial to adjust your cabin temperature. Press here to turn on the available heated steering wheel. To adjust fan speed, press here. This will turn on the rear heated window to clear ice and fog. Turning this on will also defrost the rear window wiper. This button controls the available heated seat for the front passenger. And pressing the power button will turn the entire climate control system off. Keep in mind, we recommend using auto mode in cold weather for optimal heating performance and visibility.